Hey everybody, it's GED question of the daytime. And what I have here uh, today is a pretty typical question from the GED science test. Um, this is the kind of see thing you might see there. Um, it combines science concepts with some graphs and some math and, and, and the GED loves this kind of stuff. They like to kind of combo subjects together. So let's take a look. First, let's do our reading. If scientists estimate that there are 8.7 million species on planet Earth, about how many species of fungi are there on Earth? Uh, great, so I have this little question, and it seems like a straightforward question about how many species, so I'm going to underline the question, of fungi are there on Earth? And I'm going to take a look at my graph over here. First, I'm going to read the title. Guys, I have to tell you something. Y'all never read titles. And, uh, and it hurts you, so let's know what our graph is about. So we have numbers of species by kingdom here. And I can look around and I can see that 1% um, of the species on Earth are Monera, 15% are Protista, 6% are Fungi, 16% are Plantae, and 62% are Animalia, or animals. So I'm looking at Fungi, and so I see this. I see 6%. 6% of the species of, on Earth are fungi. But take a look at my answers here. Um, what I was asked was not what percent. It just says about how many species of fungi are there on Earth. How many, not what percent. They do not want my answer as a percent. They want my answer as a standard number not a ratio or a percent. Um, and so I am going to have to do some work to figure out well, this 6% represents how many species. This 6% represents how many species. In order to go from a percent to a regular number, you always have to ask yourself of what. So I'm going to ask myself 6% of what are fungi? Well, we know 6% of the species on earth are fungi. Okay, now I am going to take this kind of half English, uh, half math little phrase and convert it into pure math, into pure math, okay? And I have my TI-30XS, so I'm gonna let that deal with the percent sign. Well, I'm, I'm debating right now, guys, because I know that there's a percent button in my TI-30XS. I could just use the percent button. Um, but you know what? I, I'm not. You can use the percent button if you want to, but I, I'm going to do all the math myself. So, okay. So, 6%. Um, I know what percent means. Percent literally means percent literally means... Whoa, why is my thing messing up. Okay, per literally means divide, and cent literally means 100. Per, divide, cent, 100. So 6% literally means 6 divided by 100, or 6 out of 100. And so when you divide a number by 100, it's a really nice, we use that wonderful trick where we can just move decimal places. You can just jump your decimal from where it is, and it's at the back if you don't see it, once, twice. So 6% is the same as 0 0.06. And again, if that's a lot of math for you, you can feel free to do that in your calculator. But 6% is the same as 0 0.06. Now here's the really important part. Calculator or not, you have got to know this. The GED student has got to know that the word of can be directly translated to a time sign. That's right. When you say 6% of something or half of something, it means the same as multiply. Because multiplying is scaling something, making it bigger or smaller. So 6% of, and now this word species. Yeah, I have it as a word, but I also have it as a number. Look at this. I know the total number of species on the planet. In my problem, they told me there were 87, 8.7, sorry, 8.7 million species on the planet. So how many species are there? 8.7 million. Now, I want to write this. I'm not going to just write 8.7 uh, because I need to take into account that it's 8.7 million. So put replace the point with a decimal and 
add enough zeros so this will be that eight will in fact be in the millions place so 8.7 million is that eight million seven hundred thousand very nice again you just replace the point with a comma and then add enough zeros so it will be in the millions place that's how you do that okay so now I will do this in my calculator though I'm not so silly that I want to multiply long nasty decimals by hand so 0 0.06 times eight million seven hundred thousand and I got a syntax error so I must have typed something wrong yep I did I hit a minus sign by accident okay 0 0.06 times 8.7 million ah, there we go I get five two two zero 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 and to read this number I'm going to come from the back one two three comma okay so it looks like about five hundred 22,000. Now, you take a look at my answers. Of course, I do not have an exact answer. They're all rounded, but permission to round was given in this problem about how many species of fungi. And so 522,000, oh, that's about 500,000. Brilliant, tricky little problem. Again, you need to know how to do it. You can use your calculator, but you still have to understand the process. Um, great. If you have any questions about this, be sure to drop them in the comments and I will do my very best to answer them.